Hey, hello everyone, you welcome to our channel. Now here with us we have a short video by God's Choice Servant, Apostle John Suleiman. This is so going to bless you. So, endeavor to watch to the end. The Bible says, number two, he said, I took my life in my, his brothers kicked him out. He said, you will not inherit our father's wealth. They kicked him out, but he didn't kick himself out. Write this down. Write this down. The essence of rejection is for self-discovery. They kicked out Jephthah. And the Bible says, Jephthah disconnected from them. And the Bible says he joined himself to vain men. And they were there. Rehearsing. Keep preparing yourself. Someday you'll be needed. <laughs> Keep preparing yourself. Someday you'll be needed. Am I talking to somebody here? Many years ago, when I became a believer, I just started studying the Bible. It was just intentional. I loved the word of God. I was taught, I just liked it. I would put then I was cutting, not married. I would give my she was my fiance, then now my wife. I would give her the Bible. I say, open anywhere and ask me. She would open and say, What is here? I would say it. What is here, here, here? I'll say it. One time I said, okay, Hebrews 1, finish. And I started, I was going, going, going. I got to a point. And she said, ah, 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 ah. Okay, Hebrews 11, go. I was going. I was just having a good time. I didn't know a time will come. <gasps> where people will look at me and say, what is this? I was just preparing myself. You keep killing the lion and not get paid. You keep killing the bear and not get paid. Someday you will kill Goliath and get paid. Am I talking to somebody right now? A day is coming. So it doesn't matter what. Keep preparing yourself. Self-discovery. When life hits you with failure, put yourself together. Hit life with success. It doesn't matter who walked out of your life or who kicked you out. That is not the end of life, sir. Discover yourself. Rejection is for self-discovery. Man's rejection is God's direction. Take your seat. Take your seat. Am I talking to somebody here? Matthew 21, 42, the stone that the builders rejected. Every man who was accepted was once rejected. Every great man at some point in their life, life rejected them. Situation beat them hands down. Circumstances told them to surrender. Their life became a palace of disease. A schedule of failure. Exercises end in futility. These are men who we had rejected, cast down, ignored, ostracized. When you hear their story. So now you are divorced. You are not the first. That's not the end of your life. And that doesn't mean you are a failure. Marriage didn't work. Other things will work. Am I talking to somebody here? There's a crisis in your home. That's not a crisis in your life. You are not what you are going through. You are where you are going to. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I say you are not what you are going through. You are where you are going through. Your failures don't define you. Your success does. Your struggle doesn't define you. Your promotion does. Rejoice not over me, oh my enemy. For if I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be my light. What shall you imagine against the Lord? For he shall make an utter end. For affliction shall not rise a second time. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Somebody shout fire. Ooh. You may be seated. Whatever you are going through now is a preparation for where you are going to. That was why Jesus was not scared of the cross because he was a carpenter. 
he was familiar with woods and planks Moses was not scared of the Red Sea because he was drawn from water whatever you are going through you've been prepared for it ay, 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 ay. you've been prepared for it I wish I was talking to somebody here so you must get to understand you see if greatness <clears throat> do you want to hear this mm. if God loves you specially he will treat you harshly for whom the Lord loveth and scourge it every son he receiveth Job 23 and verse 10. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. He knoweth the way that I take. When he has tried me, sir, if gold is your destination, if gold is your choice, fire, furnace will be your passage. If gold is your choice, you will go through things, high waters, high mountains. If God has an agenda and a plan, sometimes you get to a point you will think God hates you. You get to a point you will say, what have I done? Why me? And heaven says, why not you? Because you prayed for a great destiny. Why not you? Because you asked for a great future. If God Almighty loves you specially. He will treat you harshly. He will get to a point, the more you pray, the more you lack answers. You get to a point, the more you pray, the more you see adverse situation. It is part of the package. It is God trying to take you to a level in life. We are in the midst of all of that. You get to know true friends. You get to know true colleagues. You get to know true relatives. You get to know fake people. God will take them out of your life because in your days of pain, they mock you. They don't know it is a process in your days of trial they speak against you in fact they use your challenge as a curse as a stigma on your life not knowing god is working out something some of you we are investing your emotions on the wrong people so god triggered the situation to take them out of your life to just take them out of your life. It triggered the situation. Your emotions on the wrong people. Yes. You drew you had so many people close to you that you loved unconditionally. Because you thought they deserved it. God knows they were not deserving. So God brought a shaking. And that shaking, God began to separate. Oh Lord. Take your seat. Take your seat. Life, Apostle, life has three seasons. Mm, three seasons. And those three seasons, we are replicating the life of Christ. When the wise men came, they brought myrrh. They brought frankincense. They brought gold. So the first stage of life is the frankincense stage. Frankincense is that allure you get from a perfume that can help you to decipher which is which. What brand is this? That frankincense, it attracts. At the frankincense stage of your life, you are gifted, you are talented, you are educated, you are pretty, you are blessed. So you attract all kinds of people. All kinds, those that deserve you, those that, sir, there are people that don't deserve you. You need to know that. There are people that don't deserve you. The Bible says you should love people. It didn't say become their friends. There are people you can love from a distance. There are people that don't stop being stop being emotional about life. You end up becoming a casualty when you are too casual. You must understand the truth of God's word. So frankly, says level, everyone comes around you. And the next thing God initiates is mar. Mar is bitter. God will trigger a situation because with this kind of people around you. You may not get to the level of gold. God wants it that when you get to your gold level, it is only those who deserve it that follow you there. And those who've been around. So let those who mock you keep mocking. Let those who, are, who ridicule you keep ridiculing. Because actually it's a ridicule that brings a miracle. God is not a mocker of men. He's a maker of men. Am I communicating right now? 
it doesn't matter what you are going through now. Listen, I know what I'm telling you. It will get to a point in your life.